Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look how we can start using the Square App application. This one is um, some platform is going to be helping us to create our very first website. This is for free sites. Of course, there is a plan, a premium plan. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what we are, let's say, capable of with only free tools inside squareapp.com. So I'm gonna be leaving you a link down below in the description so you can get your account totally for free. You might be getting a few rewards if you want to change from a plan, a premium plan, you might be getting great rate discounts. So I'm gonna be going into the set up your free site. I need to fill all this information, agree to the terms and service and go into continue. So what's going to happen here is that uh, like almost every account we need to verify our, our uh, email and then I want to get into continue. Now which type of merchant best describes you? If this is a website for yourself, if you're just getting started, I assume that you are an, an individual person. So you want to choose individual. Now what name would you like to appear on customer received? So it's really important to choose a specific title. For example, I'm going to choose Camp Gigs here into continue. Now tell us about your business. This is clothing and accessories. This is a specialty shop. This is consultant, marketing advertisement, art, photo and filmed. My case is designed professional services. So this is fitting a lot uh, for me. So I'm going to get into the design once again, because I think I just deleted and go into continue. Now, what's going to happen here is going to be asking us for something more, which is tell us what you're selling online. So in my case, I am selling selling services, right? Consultations and all that. So I do have to choose the option and hit into continue. If none of those applies, choose the none of these applies to me and go into continue. My case, it does apply here. Now choose experience the worst best, best for you. So you do have a single booking page, you do have a full website with an online catalog. I think that for me, it's really easy to use a single booking page and go into continue. Now, just a second while we build your store, as you can see, it's going to be created like really, really simple. I mean, the store is going to not going to be created like right away. What we need to do in order to continue is, of course, to choose a template or if you want to start from scratch, you can do that as well. But I can strongly suggest you to select a specific template so you don't have to take too long designing your website. And you can just go right away and import all your media, your brand, your files, your images, videos, absolutely anything to your store. So here we are into the overview section of our store, set up your online business. This is design your website, add an item to sell, set up your domain, verify your identity, set up shooting rates, collect taxes on your sale and publish your website. Now we must fill all this stuff in order to start publishing our website. So in order to start, it's really like easy to go into the design now. And what's gonna happen here is gonna be sending me into the editor of the website builder from Square. So it says just stay a second while we build your site. So we do have different ways that we can create our website. So here is the header option. And as you can see, we do have templates. So it says pick a style. So what I want to do is to only focus into some template that fits for me the best. For example, I think if I am consenting something, I'm going to be choosing something like more bluer like this or like this. But in my case, I do want to focus into this one. And here I have like a preview of how it's going to be looking my stuff. So here is like the booking option. I can scroll down. Here is the shop to all the shop section, the booking options, sign up, powered by Square. The forms is protected by recapture, blah, 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 blah. So I think it's really easy for me, like for getting started, I think I'm going to go into customize and apply new style. So here at the global style, if I want to add an image as my own logo, I can do that. So I'm going to hit into my image, I'm going to import that 
and once my my image has been imported i'm going to be choosing this and hit into done so automatically my logo is going to be added into my brand so once you do have a brand if i change from one template into another one all this stuff all the files all my items are going to be added into the new template because one brand is not the same as a template so hit into done set up your domain so what i want to do is to choose a domain that I don't have cause if you already have a custom domain you can add that but in my case I want to use this only for free so as you can see I do have different custom domain name that I can use of course but I think I'm gonna just stick around with a free version we go into the X button and here into use a square save domain so here is Canva kicks let's say if this one is available for me here to change your domain has been changed publish your site to see this change then we're going to get into the x button once again we do have the page listed the grow your start your site these are just like a few sections that we can edit later the custom colors and of course the page section so as you can see we do have now this template as you can see looking really basic so what i want to do is to click into the banner that I think that I can edit. So for example, here I want to add an image. I want to go for free photos. And here I want to look for editor. For example, if I don't have like any kind of images for that, I'm gonna get in here like this, go into done, and automatically it's gonna be appearing in here. So I'm gonna hit into this text. I'm gonna hit into Canva gigs free call consultant book now if I want to change the style I can do that or even the font but I think like for me it's really working so far and I can customize that into the layout and the color for example I'm going to change this from that and like this and if I choose the background you can select a color you can select a custom color or even an image so if I choose let's say for example this one or even this one here is how it's going to be looking my custom color of the text so i want to just focus into this one and go back into save and here's my image gallery so here into the image gallery once again i can go into this choose images i can choose some photos hit into done and square is going to do its own magic really really simple right stay in the loop if there's something that i don't want to see or i think like it's not worthy to see what I can do is to go into the trust button and go into delete location in hour for example this one for me is like not interesting or I can just select a location and edit the map but in my case I don't want to see this here's the footer and the footer branding this one for example I cannot delete it because I don't have an account like it's a paid account a plan account is totally for free so i most have this one but since this one is like totally for free they are just letting us use this for free i think it's it's fair enough to have the square button at the very bottom part of our section so if i go into the site this side i can change the colors for example the main color i want to choose something like more purple like this and the secondary colors i'm going to be choosing something more bluer like this or even like this so this is how it's going to be looking my website color styles i can always choose something more darker like this or like this or even like this of course i can customize the background if i wanted to for something like this and here's the title i can change this colors customize from black into blue like this so it's now getting some so more uh of my branding right so if you are okay with that go into done go into publish and my site is going to be published automatically so i'm going to just go into use a square subdomain this is your current subdomain and i can just go and look for publish so i can now take a look into my site that was already published so there we go our account has been created so far our website so we can start working into 
um, square. So I think it's really, really great. This tool, I think, will stick around. And here I'm going to customize this on my own. So hopefully, guys, it was a very useful video for you. Now, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more information about Square, you want to see more tools, more stuff here into Square. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. See you soon, guys.